Hello guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to teach you how you can create a film look in Sony Vegas Pro 13. So obviously Sony Vegas isn't, you know, the best um, editing software in terms of color correction. Obviously that's like Adobe Premiere Pro type of things, you know, but today I'm going to teach you how you can make a photo or a video clip, whatever you want, um, look very cinematic and create that cool film look and just make it look so cool, you know what I mean? So I got this picture from unsplash um you should really check it out but here i have a picture from unsplash so i'll actually find it right here oh yeah here's the one here's the one guys i found it so before i get started here let me just um make it fit onto the screen here and maybe zoom it out a bit i don't know zoom it up no okay let's just fit it on the screen here and here it looks regular just pretend this was moving okay guys so just pretend it was moving just just pretend this whole clip was a clip like because i don't have any um clips where it's just outside and stuff like that so sorry for that but here just pretend this is moving i'll, I'll do a same effect on a video clip it's just a photo clip um if you want to add a photo clip here just for the gram or something they look cool and artsy you can do that but the first thing i do is add uh crop lines so what i do here is add crop lines so crop lines are just crop lines you know the things you see in the movies um at the top and bottom it just makes it look cool that's about it it makes it look cinematic and that's why people do it and so here's the color correction part of things so here's the subject here's the video or let's just say it's the video and you would go on video effects or you can press the same thing it's the same exact thing so the first thing you want to do is go on to saturation adjust so let me just find this right here it's the same thing if you press there, just saying. So what you want to do is go into the lows and that's the only thing you want to change. So you want to go to the lows here and then you would just go somewhere mid level, like mid, middle of the middle and the, and the end. So the middle right here being here and the low, the ends being right here. So somewhere 25%, 15%, 30%, something around there. What this will do is it'll make the colors look dull. And that's good. Isn't that good? I'm pretty sure that's good. And it makes it look film. Like, does this not look like a film? Does this not look like a film? Let me actually make it moving so it looks a little bit better. So here I just made it moving a bit. Um, it's just moving, you know, forward. So it just looks a little bit better, just saying. So does this look like a film? It kind of does, in my opinion. So let's just, let's just say that. <laughs> so the next thing you want to do is go into color curves. Color curves will change the, um, the look of it. It will make it darker, make it lighter whatever you want so just drag it onto here and what I do is I make this go up a bit and this go down a bit so I believe this is the brightness and you know light brightness and making bright light you know what I mean so move this down move this up I believe this is the contrast yeah this is the contrast so you just want to move it up a bit and this will make it look a little bit better so it'll be darker but not as contrast and you can actually compare from how it looked like before to after by pressing this. So as you can see on the left side, it's a lot brighter and it looks saturated. You know, it's, it's like basically comparing um, iPhone's camera to um, a Galaxy S7 camera. Next thing you want to do is go into color corrector. This is the final step. And um, leave a like if you haven't yet, just saying. So um, what you want to do here is move this the highs to blue here. You can see the difference between blue like somewhere in there it kind of makes it even duller um you keep this the same and you move this to a little bit yellow so it's on both sides of the spectrum in terms of color and so now you can see it oh yeah so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video i'll actually be leaving a clip on right now on the screen right now of how it looked before and after and if you did enjoy this little short video please hit that thumbs up button i really appreciate it my name is steven and i'll see you in the next one